Brinjal, commonly known as eggplant, encounters significant challenges from various pests and diseases that can severely impact its growth and productivity. Effective management strategies are essential to ensure healthy crop development. Pest Management 1. Aphids These small, sap-sucking insects cause leaf yellowing and curling, while their honeydew promotes sooty mold growth. Recommended insecticides like imidacloprid and thiamethoxam disrupt their nervous systems, effectively controlling aphids and jacids. 2. Whiteflies Tiny insects with white wings, whiteflies feed on the undersides of brinjal leaves, causing yellowing and wilting. They also excrete honeydew, encouraging fungal growth. Insecticides such as buprofessin, spiromesifen, spirotetramat, and flupiratiferone target whiteflies by inhibiting molting or lipid biosynthesis. 3. Spider mites. These microscopic pests create webbing on plants and feed on sap leading to speckled or bronzed leaves and defoliation. Abamectin and spiroticlofen are effective against spider mites, acting on various life stages to prevent further damage. 4. Fruit and shoot borer. Larvae bore into brinjal shoots and fruits, causing wilting and rotting. Chlorantranilaprol, thiamethoxam, combined with chlorantranilaprol and emamectin benzoata, target their nervous systems or receptors for effective control. 5. Leafhoppers. These small green insects suck plant sap and transmit diseases like bacterial wilt, causing leaf yellowing and curling. Thymethoxam, acetamiprid, and flupiratiferone disrupt their nervous systems and mitigate disease transmission. Disease Management 1. Fusarium wilt. This disease invades the plant's vascular system, causing yellowing, wilting, and eventual death. Carbon disease antagonize the pathogen or act systemically to manage fusarium wilt. 2. Powdery mildew. It manifests as a white, powdery growth on leaves and stems, leading to leaf curling, yellowing, and premature leaf drop. Sulfur-based fungicides and trifloxystrobin disrupt fungal metabolism or inhibit mitochondrial respiration. 3. Fomopsis. Blight! Characterized by dark, sunken lesions on stems, leaves, and fruits, this disease results in soft brown spots and fruit rot. Mancozeb, chlorothalonil, and diphenoconazole prevent spore germination or inhibit fungal respiration. 4. Anthracnose. Presenting as dark, sunken lesions on fruits and leaves, anthracnose causes significant fruit rot, especially in humid conditions. Azoxystrobin, captan, and diphenoconazole inhibit spore germination or provide protective action. 5. Damping off, affecting seedlings. This disease causes stem rot and collapse, especially in wet or poorly drained soils. Metalaxyl, therum, and propamacarb, in severe cases, disrupt fungal processes or inhibit spore germination. Integrated Management Strategies Regular monitoring of plants for signs of pests and diseases is crucial for early detection and management. Implementing cultural practices such as crop rotation, using resistant varieties, and maintaining proper sanitation can significantly reduce the incidence of pests and diseases. Biological controls, including the use of beneficial insects and microorganisms, help suppress pest and disease populations naturally. Chemical controls, including the judicious application of insecticides and fungicides, should be part of an integrated pest management strategy to ensure effective and sustainable control. Always follow local regulations and guidelines when applying these products to minimize resistance and environmental impact. Thank you for watching our video on pesticide info. Remember, when using pesticides, it's crucial to follow the recommended dosage and guidelines provided by the manufacturer. Always read the label carefully and use the product as directed to ensure effective and safe pest control. Always wear protective gear. Stay safe and protect your crops responsibly. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below.